Hey guys, I got myself some deer warning whistles and I'm gonna go ahead and install onto my car. Recently, there's been a lot more deer in when I drive up to Northern California and when I like traveling, I see a deer ever so often. So I figured, eh, why not? It's been years. I might as well add deer whistles onto my car. So so basically, I just did a quick unboxing of this. Uh, it's ripped over in the package. Cost about six bucks. You can probably get these online as well. I'll leave a few links below. Uh, but I got these at Walmart. So it was very, very simple. You're supposed to mount it one third of the way from each side of the car and the front of the car and you can either screw it down with um, screws or basically just use the adhesive tape that's already on the backing of it. Uh, 30 degrees maximum in terms of angle so you want to keep it as as parallel as you can to the car so it absorbs as, or catches as much uh, wind as it can so you can catch the wind and make it blow a whistle sound. So there's two types there's one that's open and one that's closed so if you I took this apart just for fun of it because you're supposed to actually maintain these things and clean it out after a few times. Um, or maybe after like a year or something in case bugs and stuff get stuck in it and won't ever whistle again. But you could just take it apart. There's a little screw in the back that screws out and basically clean out the whistle if you needed to. But there's an open whistle and a closed one. The open one is supposed to go towards where your driver is and you could blow really hard on it and then it makes a sound. Uh, versus the op the closed one is very different. It directs the airflow right through the whistle and makes a really loud uh, whistle sound. So from the, my car when I drive through at, at what, 60, 70 miles per hour, uh, the, you know, the legal limit. So basically I could hear the slight whistling sound on the far end when I mount it on the passenger side, but that's where it's supposed to mount the loud one. The not as loud a one, the open one is supposed to go onto your driver's side so you could barely hear it. And I really don't hear it when I put down my driver's window. But here's some quick photos. You can actually, there's a screw that mounts the front whistle part to the mount. The mount actually slides off as well. So you can actually put screws in it and then mount it, you know, into the your bumper or something. But they ask you to mount it one third of the way or somewhere in the front of your car so that the people hear it first. I was actually thinking of mounting it underneath my um, license plate holder, which has plenty of room. I have grill guards on my um, car, so I really can't mount it inside behind the grill because it will obstruct wind. So got some rubbing alcohol and just start cleaning the sides of my um, thing and have it ready. And I just basically peel the peel and sticks adhesive and place it on it. I put mine about an inch off the bottom part of my uh, sides of my license plate holder, which is fine. And I could hear plenty fine. Uh, if I roll down all my windows and, and driving at 60 miles per hour, I could hear a, like a slight whistling sound on the right, my passenger side of my car. Anyways, guys, it was that simple. You just stick and peel and that's about it. Um, have a good one. Please like, subscribe and stay tuned for more. By the way, if you have these deer whistles, do they actually work? This is the first time I'm using deer whistles. Like I said, this would be pretty interesting. Leave your comments below. Anyways, Thanks a lot. Like, subscribe, hit the bell button for more notifications, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.